name's Paul Clark. I'm from Mississippi. Now, he didn't much teach me. I was in prison because I was irresponsible and I had to grow up and be a man, face responsibility. My daily struggles is being accepted. Uh, being uh, looked upon as a human being, a person as God's child. Being accepted for who I am. I mean, we're, we're not perfect. We all make mistakes. Surviving, where I'm going to get my next meal, uh, what kind of work I'm going to find. I think people see me as homeless. I mean, they look at us like they they they, they, they shone down upon us. I don't know why. We're all y'all sure. My daily routine basically the stay in, stay out above the water, try to stay away from drugs, um, help help the young kids understand life that it's not easy. It's hard being accepted. It's hard not being having a mom and daddy. It's hard not having a family. You know, rejection, ridicule, humiliation. But, uh, well, some of my hopes for the future are to help kids stay away from drugs, don't, don't get on the streets. It's, the streets ain't easy, it's hard out there, guys. It's rough. A lot of people don't understand that. Well, I think this makeover is going to be a great benefit for me. It's going to make me feel good about myself, give me a positive state of mind. Big difference. Oh my God. It's a big difference. <laughs> Look at that, I'm just a little different. And my prayer thoughts was blessings to God saying, thank you, God bless you. I remember younger, I'm gonna feel uh, exhilarated, happy, you know, blessed. My friends are gonna be shocked when they see me. They're gonna be, they ain't gonna be able to really believe it because they know I, I don't usually don't cut my hair. I think it'll impact my life in a great way. I said, if I'm willing to make a change myself. I had to make a change first too though. Haircut makes a difference, but what about a person that's inside? He had to change too. The next step for me is a job interview. Get a job, go to work, be productive. Uh, I'd like to have a little peace in my life, like a home, a job, you know, a place where I can have me a, get me a doll, you know, have me a nice house, a little, little piece of land where I can grow me a garden, be happy. Let's unify together for love. Let's unify together for hope. For only love can conquer hate and only hope can remove fear mm -hmm. and progress. Let us shine in this world. Let us shine in the darkness like Paul. We would like to give thanks to our sponsors, Scotchy's Bakery in Orlando and as well uh, Closet Freaks which donated the amazing outfit, the great clothes. We would also like to say thanks to Just Incredible Cuts, this amazing barber that helped us throughout the process. And, uh, oh yeah, come here, bro. There you go, my man. My man, Just Amazing barber cuts. here in Orlando, you great to cuts, this, very humble. We would also like to thank uh, Katie and all the team that helped us produce this. And uh, we would also like to thank my Paul man here for allowing us to, allowing us to, to, to give time. you this rebirth of identity. And trusting in yeah, us and not just... Yeah. Throwing away.